Hey everybody, thank you for joining me for this episode of Pursue the Wild, Tips from the Wild. I'm with Bender, Eric Bender. If you guys listen to Kafaro Cast, you've heard about Bender a lot. This is the man, the myth, the legend himself. He is a lead engineer for Kafaro Backpacks. Kafaro is really great at listening to a lot of customer feedback and you have taken a combination of several backpacks and created like this new improved Nargale. This is like Aaron's like Dream pack. Dream pack. Yep. So there's a lot of features on this. It's I've been running the musk keg for years, and this has a lot of features that the musk keg has, a lot of features it doesn't have, a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to roll through this from top to bottom, um, starting with the fabric on it. This, this pack is super tough. Right. Yeah. So we tried to use some more technical fabric in uh, areas where it would count and keep the strong stuff where we needed to, yeah. really. So on the side, we have Dimension Polyant. VX21S X Pack, which is just a 210 denier face fabric that has this uh, X Pack grid on the back of it, which is kind of sailcloth technology. It makes for a much stronger pack, but really what this thing is is good at is some water resistance. It won't wet out like the Cordura will, but it doesn't hold up to stitching as well. So in the areas where I needed to put bar tacks and reinforcement or where we were going to put belt pouches, that's still 500D Ranger, Ranger Green Cordura. So it does have some waterproof capabilities to it. It's not waterproof, so you still oh. have to run like a rain cover on it if you have a downpour. But if you're running through brush or something like that, this is going to keep your stuff dry enough to where you don't have to cover up all the time, which is can be kind of cumbersome when you're right. in the field. Right, and some of the things, so this definitely has heritage in a couple of packs. As you mentioned, the, X, or the, the Muskeg line is definitely uh, one of the great granddads of this pack, but also the Argali, which um, we made a few years back, and that was basically just a Cordura tube with a mm -hmm. bunch of lash points on it. What we wanted to do was try and keep this as lightweight as possible by cutting out all the things that Aaron was gonna cut out of my prototypes anyway. So I got rid of the zipper on the side here, which means you're going to have to pack with a little bit more mindfulness uh, foresight yeah. yeah you don't want to put your dinner at the bottom right of here. the pack when you might want to eat so top exactly. lid the stuff or load on top the stuff that you're going to need to quick access to because there isn't that zipper to drop right. and reach in the side of the bag right um, another thing too is there's no longer the the sleeve behind the front panel a lot of people found that it was um, there wasn't any dimension to it. So anything that you put in there, you kind of had to stuff in there and then uh, be good at grabbing it out again. The, the X-Pack behind it was to keep it more waterproof, but I was able to cut, you know, a couple ounces by getting rid of that. So that was kind of the name of the game with this is take away all the weight that I could. But you have a lot of attachment points on this bag oh, yeah. that are kind of not necessarily obvious. Um, if you guys removed these add-on pa uh, pouches so you can run multiple sizes of, of pouches, you can actually run your tripod and your uh, spotting scope as a T configuration with this loop here, which is what Aaron does when he's doing a lot of glassing. Yep. Um, and then the bottom uh, loop down here, which is super reinforced, you can put something like an ice axe like you guys have on this, or like you can slip your bow cam in the bottom. A lot of bow mm -hmm. cams are kind of oversized, so that can ride in here. And then you can use these straps as an attachment point to ride your bow hands-free on the outside of your bag. If you wanted to take this off, I could also show you that down here, we have a reinforced sleeve that you could put the butt of your rifle in, that you could carry it vertically, and then use the weapon straps to tighten this down a little bit. But you can also run your rifle, if you don't want to run it in this pouch, you can run it on the side where this Nalgene is with these attachment straps. And as you guys see on the side of this one, we've got the uh, tripod. So you can also run your rifle stock or your tripods on, along the side of the bag and kind of use that as a balancing to balance out the weight of your rifle versus tripod as well. Right, right. And the pockets on the side are big enough that you can fit a couple of water bottles in there if you don't like the bladder and if you have to camel up in certain mm -hmm. areas. Mm -hmm. um, you could have one water bottle on your waist belt and then two back here. I usually offset them so that kind of distributes the weight a little bit. 
So this bag is not sold with these exterior pouches. However, you can order them in multiple sizes and there's, there's several attachment points on these. And so you can just throw them on and customize them. If you don't want bags at all, you don't have to do them. You can throw something on there like a shape charge if you want extra carrying capacity or to have like a day pack option while you're in camp. This bag does break down really small. It is um, maxed out. 5,090 cubic inches right. um, up to that, but it runs like this about 4,400 cubic inches. Right, so we would call this lid mode here when you're using the top of the drawstring to uh, kind of restrict that the capacity. If we were to go all the way up here, that's where the almost 5,100 mm -hmm. cubic inches goes in. If we were to take some of this out, what we have down here is that you can pass these buckles back through their keepers and compress it down super small. And really compress it down into day mode. Which is nice. Right. So you can get this down pretty small. If you were to get rid of the rest of the stuff, let's say all your hard work paid off and you're looking to put a load of meat on the back. It has a meat shelf. This does have a meat shelf. So you can see right here, it's tightened down with our, uh, our tensioners, yeah. but the, the meat shelf is down here on the back. If you have the tactical frames, you can run that up a little bit higher, mm -hmm. get the load up a little uh, higher on your back. Which is super nice. You have that, right. keep the meat, keep the mess out of your inner bag so you don't have to deal with that, getting blood and hair all over your gear and your clothes using that meat shelf. Exactly. Inside, you guys, there is still hydration compatible. So if you're running a bladder, there's a sleeve inside the bag for a bladder. And there's two exit ports coming out of the bag and a keeper for your straw on either side. So you can run your straw whatever side you'd like. Right. Um, this does not have the zipper, but it is super easy to pack and, and still stack your gear inside with no problems. Exactly. And this will go on our light and ultralight frames as well as our tactical frames. It's really at home on the 26 and the 24. You can't put it on the 22, you're just gonna have more of the bag hanging down off of the bottom. The, our frames, many of you know, are modular. So based on your torso, your measurements, your height, you can set this up kind of like a suit. You can get it tailored to whether or not your one shoulder's higher than the other, or if you've got a deeper chest, if you're you know lifting a lot, if you need a different size waist belt. Once you get this set up, everything else will work with that frame. So this is the, the user interface part, and then based on your hunt, your mission, you can put a different bag on it. And the nice thing is if you already have a frame, either the 24 or 26 inch frame, the Nargali will actually just plug and play onto your existing frame. So you can buy just the bag only option. Mm -hmm. Completely put together, this is gonna run you around six pounds, just under six pounds with the frame. It's really gonna depend on the weight, on the waist belt size you're, you're running, and then also whether you're running a 24 or 26 inch frame, but you can count on it being under six pounds, which is super lightweight for an extended stay pack with this carrying capacity. I don't like to go much over that 5,000 cubic inches because my bags get really heavy, really right. fast, and I'm pretty small. So this is like, for me, this is an ideal size for extended stay, and there's so many features on this. There's so much you can attach to the outside of the bag um, with your accessory pouches that you can really almost have as much cubic space as you need and really use this main bag to hold big stuff like sleeping bags, tents, you know, bulky food that doesn't compress down um, and keep your accessories really handy and available whenever you need them throughout your hunt. Right, and if you're a big dude, it will still hold big dude stuff. So all of our gear is larger and I can still get, you know, up to a week out of this bag if I'm packing right, so. Yeah, I can run on this bag, I can run up to like 12 days on this size. So um, depending on what you bring, how you pack it, this bag is very generous in size and it's available online right now on kafaro.net. You can go on there, you can order the bag by itself, you can order the frame and the bag combination and you can order it in multiple sizes. If you guys have any questions on what size frame you need or what size waist belt you might want, just call down to Kafaro. They'll help you accessorize the bag and put together this custom fit for you, which is a great thing. American made, this is the Nargali. You can go on kafaro.net to order yours today.